Hello, sports fans. Welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's Mail Drop Monday, and today's drop consists of a PC auto pickup, as well as a delivery from Fab Sub Salty Dog. We got a full week of shenanigans ahead of us, so let's get right into it. We'll start with the Salty Dog package. Everything pre-ripped, as always, to save us a few precious seconds. Let's see what we got here. As I record this, if anyone out there is looking for work, I hear the Astros are hiring... <laughs> Some serious fines, uh, firings, all that stuff. Big time penalties dropped on the Astros for their sign stealing. Uh, I'm hearing that Alex Cora is soon to follow with some penalties. Don't cheat. I don't know if it taints their World Series. They say it doesn't, and they say I was reading something that said... Um, if you, ooh, we got a little Miggy, uh, I, I don't think that's a X-Fractor, but it might be the regular prism, um, that in the World Series, they have, like, watchers in the, in the dugouts and in the, uh, clubhouse to make sure you're not cheating or, you know, stealing signs or anything, so you can't really cheat in, in that respect in the World Series, but throughout the season, I, I apparently, you can do it with pretty much... No one's stopping you. All right. So, of course, my man Miguel Andujar not traded yet. So, hopes are still high that Miggy is a Yankee and that he and uh, Gio Urshela, who just got a pay raise to, I think, about $2.5 million, uh, will have uh, the ability to either platoon or, uh, you know, just do, keep them both on the squad. All right. It's a beautiful card. I'm very excited for Miggy to come back. So Chance Adams, DFA, I believe. Uh, basically not a Yankee. Anthony Siegler, uh, again, I don't really know a lot about him. I just know they got the Kraken and they got Kyle Higashioka. He's a catcher, so I don't know what's going to happen there. Of course, Sonny Gray, now a Cincinnati Red, but the foil is always nice. Nice, Roger. That's an SP. Oh, now that is some magic right there. Don't have this. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Rolf. Uh, I actually just sent... So this reminds me, if you have, if you played the guessing game during the 8 Breaks of Hanukkah and you got your prize, I hope you will leave it in the comments uh, that you got your prize, that you like it or whatnot. Uh, also have some of those football boxes going out this week. So I sent one of the prizes to a winner was a Heritage sticker. So this is from basically the Walmart Blasters, but that's awesome that... It's the judge poised to have an MVP caliber season. He's ready. I know it. I can feel it. Kraken also hoping he's going to have a great season. Nice. Se again, Sevy too. I think nice black parallel, the legends in the making. Uh, I think Sevy, he's healthy. He came on really, really strong once he came off the injury uh, in the playoffs. Was throwing lights out. I mean, great. And I think he's going to have an ace of a season if he can stay healthy. Oh, hashtag KB for the PC. Don't have this one. So thank you very much. Also, staying right where he is, at least for now, staying put, just signed his one-year deal to avoid arbitration, uh, $18.6 I believe, for one year. The thing about that that shocked me was Trevor Bauer also just signed a one-year deal with the Reds for $18.5 And if you think Trevor Bauer and Chris Bryant are even in the same stratosphere, uh, you got another thing coming. So I feel like he kind of undervalued Um might still get traded. We'll see, but I'm hoping not. I hope he stays a cup for life. A nice B harp there. I may shift that over to a Philly fan or a, um, yeah, Philly fan. I'll say, oh, look, at it. it's in, even in his Phillies gear. We'll see. I'll hang on to it for a little bit. Nice. I've never even seen this card. A not very excited looking Dave Winfield. Nice. Number two, Derek Jeter. Hall of Fame bound. Nice seven. Another KB for the PC. And, oh, is it re It's real! Rolf, look at... Unplanned. Totally unplanned. I just had that out because it was sitting over here. I think this is legit. I don't think it's a reprint. Yeah, looks in great shape. I'm just taking the sticker off so we can get a really good look at it. 
Uh, you've heard me say that I, you know, was ripping 84s. I'm trying to chase down my second Mattingly rookie card because the only one I had was in the complete set that my dad bought back in 1984. Uh, and so now, which I took out of the set and it's in display, but now I can put one of them back in the set. Really nice uh, corners, no creasing. I, I think that's just a little like printing probably scratch, which is kind of normal for 80s cards. Don Mattingly, rookie number two in the collection. Thank you so much, Salty Dog, my man, Rolf Best. You are the best. That's awesome. That was a unexpected and very pleasant surprise. Let's set him over here with his twin brother. It's Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. We got the big and the mini. Very cool. That is awesome. I'll keep that baby out maybe the rest of the week just because it's so awesome. Did not have it. Wow, I'm just gazing upon it. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Thank you so much for that one. Awesome, awesome. Fab subs, that's why you're fab subs. Okay, so this was, again, an example of having a strong eBay game. This is a PC auto pickup. It's probably not what you're expecting. I got to admit, I was a little surprised to get this box, and I was like, what is this? Uh, I remembered I had or you know won this at auction, but... Who sends it in a box like that? But here you go. Let's see that. And it is... Ozzy, Ozzy, Albies! Oi, oi, oi! Uh, again, this is my third Tier 1 on-card auto. A uh, couple things about Ozzy Albies autographs that I've noticed. I don't know if he's using a pen all the time that's like running out of ink, if he presses too hard or what... But pretty much all of his autos, unless he's using a, a thicker pen, a lot of, like, lightness to it. You know, he'll have heavy spots and then really light spots. This one's actually not too bad. Uh, other ones are really faint. Uh, I, I don't know what is going on with that, but I notice it uh, in pretty much all of his autographs. Uh, but again, Tier 1, I don't know what it is, why... I'm able to get Tier 1s. I don't know if maybe Tier 1 just doesn't get as much love. Um, people don't think about it uh, in terms of auto chasing. I, I really don't know. Um, but I won this for $12.99. 12 dollars Number 79 out of 100. So I don't know how you beat that. You know, what makes you not want to get it at $12.99? And I don't think anyone else even bid. I think I won, you know, I put $12.99 and won it no problem because i was looking at dynasty i am working on trying to build out a dynasty collection uh, i still only have just the one aaron judge uh, but it would be awesome to have more of those and there you go but it's on card you know that's the thing i'm chasing you know if i'm chasing pc autos i want them to be on card preferably i won't turn down the sticker auto of course and we've certainly had a lot of fun pulling the sticker autos like the griffey during the eight breaks but if you can get it on card i mean that's where it's at so there we go. Put him over at his spot. We got, look at that all-star right side of the field. Mattingly, Ozzy, Judge. Very cool. Very cool. So that was, uh, I'm pretty pleased. That was a pretty fun uh, Mail Drop Monday. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the episode. Really looking forward to reading your comments. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.